Four meter prediction. Michael Norman is the first man to break 43 seconds. He's going to break uh, Wade Van Niekirk's record. We looked at his potential last year, but now he's only gotten better. He's run 986 in the 100 in a, basically an off year. I, I think he was greatly reduced <clears throat> last year because of whatever the injury was that he never exactly wanted to specify, although he said it was a strain. Uh, he really kept that close to the chest, so we're not exactly sure what was going on. Uh, but we have not even close seen the the best of Michael Norman. I, I don't think it was a fluke that he opened the season with a 43-45 last year. Of course, you're not going to run faster every single time, but this is by no means as fast as he can go. 400-meter runners don't run 19.7 and, and 9.86. Wade Van Niekirk's the greatest of all time, and he's – only run 19.8 and 9.90 something. Well, Norman's way faster in those other events, and his primary event is the 400. I I, I believe he's going to go faster if he's in peak form, and I, I think he's going to run something just a shade under 43 seconds. It, it seems impossible because you look at somebody like Michael Johnson and had you know what what he ran, and then to have Van Nieker <clears throat> go well under that. Um, in, in Rio, but that's what the Olympics do. They bring out in these sprint events times that you otherwise don't think are, are humanly possible, right? And we saw that somewhat in, in Doha and with the, the distance events, and you mentioned Beijing. These tracks are only getting faster. These Mondo surfaces are, are changing the game as far as what how fast things uh, can run. And I think with this extra year of preparation, everything to me seems going in uh, Norman's favor to, to break the world record.